and my class is B2T8. Now I want to discuss about PSPM 2016-2017 which is question 7 under subtopic guess in chapter 5. Now let's go to the first question. The first thing that we should to solve this question is we must find the important point in this question which is the volume of gas collected is 0 0.250 the temperature is 26 celsius total pressure is 765 mmsd and the pressure of water vapor is 25.2 mmsd so first question is calculate the partial pressure of o2 now to solve this question we can use the delton law formula which is Pressure total equal to pressure oxygen plus pressure water vapor. First, we move the pressure of oxygen to the left because we want to find the partial pressure of O2. Next, pressure, partial pressure total, we move to the right. So, we get pressure O2 equal to pressure total minus pressure water vapor. As we know, the pressure total is 765 mmsg and the pressure of water vapor is 25.2. So that we substitute the value to the formula and we get the final answer. Uh, this question has two mark, which is we can get the mark in here we can get one mark and the final answer we can get one mark so the total is two mark so the question the second question is calculate the moles of o2 collected in this question we can use the ideal gas equation which is pv equal to nrt which p is pressure v is volume and N is small, R is constant, and T is temperature. So we want to find the mole of O2 collector. So we move N to the left side and PV to the right side. So we get N O2 equal to pressure O2 multiplied by volume O2 divided by constant and temperature. So the pressure of O2, we know that we get in the first question, which is 739.8 divided by 760 because we get V1 in ATM unit. So, next we multiply by the volume, which is 0 0.250 and divide with constant and temperature which is constant is 0 0.08206 and the temperature is 26 plus 273.15 because we want the temperature in the Kelvin unit and not the in the Celsius unit so we get the final answer is 9.91 times 10 to power of negative 3 so this question have 3 marks so we can get the marks here we get 1 mark here 1 mark and here 1 mark so the total is 3 marks Next, the third question is the amount of gas LO3 in gram decomposed. So, the first thing we should do is the balance equation. So, we get 
we, so we get 2 KCLO3 and the product is 2 KCL plus 3O2. From the balance equation, we do this to get the mole of KCLO3. In the left side, we put 3 mole O2 and the right side, we put 2 mole KCLO3. So we substitute the mole of O2 which is 0.00991 mole and in the right side we just times the mole of O2 with 2 and divide with 3 and we get the answer 0.00661 mole with the mole that we get we also can get the mass of KCLO3 decomposed which using this formula which is number of moles times molar mass as we know the molar the number of moles is 0 0.0061 mole and times with molar mass of KClO3 which is 122.6 g mole negative 1 so we get the final answer 0 0.8104 gram so this question has 5 mark and how to get 5 mark from the balance equation you can get 1 mark from this part you can get 1 mark the mole we can get 1 mark this 1 mark and the final answer is 1 mark so the total is 5 mark so for the next question is question B. Nitrogen gas is a real gas that deviates from ideality. It is the most abundant gas found in the atmosphere. Question 1. Why does nitrogen gas behave as a real gas in room temperature? So first we must identify the keyword for this question. So the keyword is why. So the answer must come with the explanation so let's see the answer the answer is the interaction of gas molecules is significant because the kinetic energy of gas molecules is not enough to overcome the intermolecular forces between them the volume occupied by gas molecules is significant compared to the volume gas so the the question has three marks. So how can we get the three marks? So at this sentence we can get one mark. Another mark we can get from this part, and last one mark we can get there. So. Let's move to the second question. State the conditions under which nitrogen gas can be liquefied. So, as we know, the keywords is state. So, the answer just state and without the explanation. The answer for question 2 is increasing pressure and decreasing temperature. So, the mark for this question is 1 mark. So you guys can choose either one, increasing pressure or decreasing temperature. So for the last question is, how can nitrogen gas be made to behave as an ideal gas? So the answer is low pressure and high temperature. So for this question is one mark. So you, ca you guys can choose either one, low pressure or high temperature so just that from me thank you bye hope you all learned something please do remember subscribe like and share this channel thank you